everybody. I'm here and we're going to be looking at some new, um, the new in color supplies that I just got. Um, our new catalog just came out today and I'm pretty excited about it. There were a lot of cool things that were in the catalog this year. And well, this, yeah, this fiscal year, I guess for Stampin' Up. So, um, I'm, I got, I had to get a whole bunch of things. Um, and it's interesting because uh, I know Julie, my downline, um, she will hopefully be on here, but, um, she, uh, got some different things than I did. So it was kind of cool. I, I look forward to seeing the things that she got too. So, um, but I wanted to share with you today and, um, let you see what, what is available and all the, uh, the, the really beautiful colors. Um, we have, um, oh, Orchid Oasis, um, Starry Sky, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, and what am I missing? Oh, Tahitian Tide. So I'm still getting used to this, but um, I, I'm sure in no time we'll be, we'll be great. So, all right. Well, hi, James. <laughs> At least we have one person here. Um, all right. I'm going to flip us down and hopefully um, more people will join us. So, oh, just realized my, okay, hopefully you can see that without any obstructions. All right, so we got some really neat things. Um, first of all, the paper. Um, these are the colors, and... The car, I decided to focus on the colors today. Uh, we're going to have these for two years, but this is the Sweet Sorbet, um, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, and Parakeet Party. And they're nice, bright colors. I, I think of, I think my mom's going to like these. She always likes bright colors. And uh, I like this, this one. I'm, we got rid of a really great blue, but this is another pretty good pur bl purplish blue, I guess. Um, dark blue. I think we're, I think we'll be, I'll get used to that real quick. So, all right. Yay. Julie's here. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm just showing everybody the different colors and then I got, um, I had to get the, the ink pads. All right. And it's neat this year. Um, by the way, they have the different labels on these. And this year I was happy to see that um, not only did they see, since I am English or I'm not English, but like you need English labels, um, they have them in all sorts of other languages, but this year they also have a plain one. They have two plain ones. One was even skinnier. One was a skinny one and what that fits right here. So when your pad is open and then, um, you can also have it from this view. So in case you have it on your desk and you're looking for it. So I was, I was excited about that. Um, so now I don't have to have Japanese or something, um, on the edges. Not that it mattered too much, but I, I think they must be listening over there. So anyway, those are my stamp pads. And, oh, by the way, I find it much easier if you peel off the outside and then you can do each of them rather than any other way. So I don't know if other people figured that out or not, but that I found was easiest for me. All right. Then I also got the markers, which we're going to use today. And I got the, I got these. I haven't used them yet. I, the colors I actually needed for the one card, um, are the, is the only one that is, well, no, I'm sorry. They're not, we don't, no, this would be Tahitian Tide, I guess. We don't really have this yellow in the new in color. So, um, that's okay. But somehow I believe these are, these are one of the new products. I guess they aren't really the in colors. Um, and then we have the, the, uh, designer series paper. Now this I liked, I know, um, there are, I believe four of each. I, yeah, I believe there's four of each. So each of these, there's four different designs. Hmm. Maybe I should count. 
to be accurate here. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty pretty sure we got four of each four, four of each of these. So then four of these and four of these and that kind of thing. So um, these have so there's four designs. There's this flowered one. Then we have a plaid one. We have more of a striped one and a polka dot one, which I think these are. These are some of the best um, patterns that I've seen. I really like this plaid one. And then, of course, we got all the other ones on the backs. So anyway, we're going to use this paper, too, and the markers, and the paper, and the ink. And I'm all excited. Oh, and then we got these. Um, Baker's Twine, one in every color, which goes great. So, um, yeah. All right, so... Without further ado, let me move these off to the side, maybe. Okay, and by the way, I also got... So I um, attended an event through Stampin' Up! And um, along with it, we they gave away stamp sets, four, five different stamp sets. And this is the one that I got. This one has a punch that goes with it that I can purchase, but, but I have not yet. Um, but I, I was happy to have this and I actually have another card. I think I'm going to save for another, um, um, Facebook live or maybe, um, another, my, you know, stamp club or something like that. So, um, we'll see, but cause it doesn't, it only uses one in color and I wanted to use tonight to be about the in colors. So um, but anyway, I'm going to use this one and I'm also going to use my new stamp set called Sending Smiles, which is so cool. It was one of the ones I knew I had to get right off the bat. So, um, very stylistic flowers, lots of vers versatility with that though. So, all right. So the first one that we're going to do is using Orchid Oasis as the card base. And, um, this actually, I have to show you. I'll show you at the end. That's more fun, right? To see how it develops. Um, so I'm going to use this paper and, um, I have another version of it with a different kind of paper. So hi mom. Glad you're here too. Good. So yeah, I like these, um, all of them, you know, the parakeet party and the Tahitian tide. Those are good too. So, all right. For some reason, my scrolling's not working very good. I keep seeing the same stuff. So anyway, I'm glad mom's here. It keeps, oh, I don't know. I'll just let it go, I guess. Um, I wish I could blow on it. <laughs> it would work. It's right at the level of my face. So, all right, let's get this going here. I think I'm just going to do two cards tonight. Um, been subbing a lot, had a huge week last week. It was exhausting. Um, still have to sub the next three days. So, um, you know, need to conserve some energy for those first and second graders. So, all right. So this is going to get attached here. I'm running really low on stamp and seal. So I think I might, I, I kind of running low on this too. I, but anyway, I will use that. All right. So this is just a little bit goes a long way. Um, this is cut at four inches by five and a quarter to fit on this. And I have the remnants I'm going to be using for a different card. So no waste. All right. So here I have, that's ready. Um, and I'll do that in a second. Now, I, what I really want to do is a lot on this one. So, um, using the, uh, bottled happiness, if you notice, there's two stamps or it's a two-step stamp is what I'm trying to say. All right. So there's one with the kind of the bigger boulder flowers, and there's one that has leaves in the centers of the flowers. Um, so I have both of those here. All right. So I wanted to use all the colors. So I'm going to use the markers, and I'm going to make the bigger boulder flowers um, the, what's it called? Um, starry Sky. So, you know, I think in my sample I used the wrong marker. Oh, good. That worked out because that was, those were all supposed to be this darker blue. So usually I start with a lighter one, but I'm, I'm kind of just going with the ones that's in the center here. Uh, I'm definitely using the side of my marker 
All right, because if you use the tip, it gets all fuzzy and it's very hard to use for other things. Um, but you're you're basically trying to fill in a, a big flat surface anyway, which is ideal for the side of your marker. All right, so hopefully um, I didn't. Oh, I did miss one here. Okay. Oh, and I wanted to do with these little things. I was trying to figure out what these were at first. I, they look like celery, <laughs> little pieces of celery, like you'd put in potato salad or something. Um, but they, I think, are buds. So I'm making those that. All right. And then I'm going to make these like... Well, I don't know if they're supposed to be hydrangeas or not, but I'm making them hydrangeas. Like, they're kind of like middle mid little ones probably allium actually my flower expert could probably tell me but allium are more generally kind of a magenta color but today because in honor of in colors we're going to do that so i see i missed a couple already there's another piece of celery just kidding um did i miss one here yeah a little piece of celery here all right. All right. Okay. And then the little sp sprays of, I don't know, maybe lilac. We'll pretend there's lilac. So... All right. Now... I am going to huff and puff and re-moisture, you know, get this damp again. And then I'll stamp. All right, so I'm going to stamp toward the top of this. And I was going to use my, just realized that, my foam pad. So maybe I can, there slid it off the edge. Maybe I can do that. All right. Kind of beat it up a little on the edges and probably because these are pretty juicy at the moment, um, but that's okay. All right. So then I want to make the centers, this sweet sorbet, which I thought it was red at first, but when I started comparing them to the current reds that we have, it's actually like a very dark pink. It's actually coordinates really well with flirty flamingo. So I'm going to have to do a card. I looked at that. I'm like, okay, I know what I'm doing with that. So, um, however, um, and I already did one version of the next card using a non in color, but I think I'm going to change it back and do it with all the, in, well, not all the in colors, but in colors instead. So it may not be accurate to life, but um, I'm going to try to be true to my theme here today. So, all right. So this is the parakeet party, which is super bright. Um, maybe a, not a very realistic green color for this one, but, um, I think it ends up looking pretty good overall. It's, it's, it goes with the other ones. Okay. So I'm just going to. I'm going with it. Hey, has anyone ever seen that movie? Um, just go with it with Jennifer Aniston and um, um, what's his name? Adam Sandler. Ugh, I almost forgot his name. Um, I love that movie. It's very silly, kind of crude in places, but I like it. So, not my style, honestly to be honest, but, um, I guess sometimes I just like movies like that that are different. All right. So, oh, I just realized this is a flower, not a leaf. So let me, all right. All right. So I'm lining up the centers. 
which with a photopolymer stamp you can do easier than you think. Okay. So there are my all of my colors, the new ink colors. Now, what I did was I made a mask for the next thing, okay? So I stamped just with one color, um, the major one, and I missed those leaves, but um, I was able to do this anyway without that. So I'm going to cover these up. Okay. All right, and now I'm going to use, there's this bottle. This is kind of a short bottle. Can you see that? Um, I'm going to use Orchid Oasis on that since I used the darker blue for the flowers. Okay. And we will, hmm, this is an extremely juicy one. Maybe I should stamp off. I don't know, maybe not. Um, all right, so I'm going to do that right there. Okay, so it looks really dark right now. I guess my mask didn't, I didn't cut that very well when I look at that. But I'm going to put a bow right there, so hopefully it's not that um, visible. And this is going to fade as it dries. All right, so I'm going to take... We'll be done with this. All right, so I'm going to put this, I'm going to mount this on here. All right. Okay. Yeah, I love the blue shades too. I hate parakeet prey. Because it's green, right? Yeah. I like that you're predictable, Julie, in that way. You're so unpredictable in every other way, but that is a good one. You, you like green. I can count on that. So, all right. So here I have that pretty focal point and that is going to go right here. And now we need some words. So I have this. This is from um, Bottle Happiness too, Overflowing with Happiness. All right. Now I'm going to use this um, Sweet Sorbet. What's it called? Bart Baker's Twine. And then make bows. So, so yeah, as I was saying about Julie... Um, I have to say, like, if any of you are friends with her, which you probably are, I think, Julie, you have the best, you post the best, the funniest, um, some, I don't know, memes, I guess, would be that one you had yesterday or the day before where the guy gets knocked over by sheep. <sighs> that was hilarious. I had to show everybody in the family. I was laughing at that one. Um, and it was just like, this is how my week is going. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I can relate. Um, it was really funny. So thank you, Julie, for, for making my day on that. All right. So I made a bow and I'm going to attach this with, um, a glue dot maybe. All right. I'm just going to put it as if it was around the neck of the bottle. And so now we have a little bit here. You see that? We have a tiny bit of sweet sorbet, and then we have a, a little bit more sweet sorbet. So what I decided was we're going to use sweet sorbet for the words. Because there's already a lot of the other two blues, and I couldn't decide between um, Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party. So um, I'm going to do a sweet sorbet. So, all right. So we're overflowing with happiness. I'm going to put that toward the top. Okay. And I want to make this kind of um, a banner or tag. tag like, oh, what do they call it? I think it is banner. Proper terminology here. All right. But it's going to be a super shallow one here. 
So cut up the center, kind of angled in from the side and see however far that is. I'm going to try to start over there and come back toward the center. Fairly fail proof. Okay. So that is a little bit more exciting than a plain rectangle. And then I'm going to attach that to the bottom of the, um, like right underneath the bottle. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Now I'm going to raise this whole centerpiece up and use dimensionals. So I always like to use the side pieces, which I've mentioned before, but if anybody new is looking at this, I don't waste anything if I can help it. So, um, okay. So we'll, I, and I try to keep it about an inch, a little bit or so, some kind of support for every square inch or so. This one might use a little bit more, but say la vie. Okay, and now we'll line that up. Okay, it's a nice, pretty little simple card. Um, and now here's the other version that I made. I really like that plaid, as I mentioned. So I don't know. Do you have a a, a feeling? Do you like one or the other? I kind of like how the flowers imitate these flowers. They're very similar shapes. So I felt like mm, maybe that does. However, the background here, the, um, behind that kind of gets lost. So maybe if I flip flopped it, maybe if I had the main card, this darker blue, the starry sky, and then the inner frame would be the, oh, um, orchid oasis. That probably would look better because look how nice that stands out here. So. All right. Any, so what size was the white? It was, um, two and three fourths by four. So the, the background, the frame would be three by four and a quarter. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> that was a good mean. All right. So, that's the first card. All right. So the second card actually is rather simple. It's, um, I guess you could consider a simple stamping. Oops. All right. Now I didn't actually finish the first cards of this, but it, like I said, it's a simple stamping card and I'm going to change the colors out. So this will be my base though. All right. So we're going to use the sending smiles. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to start with the word sending. Now I did do it in the sweet sorbet and another color. Um, but I'm going to use, wait a second. Um, Actually, I think I will use the Sweet Sorbet. Yeah, I'm going to use the Sweet Sorbet for the sending. And it's, it's a pretty versatile card. I mean, you could do this anyway, but, and I know James is going to say, flowers don't come in these colors, but um, that's okay. We're using our imagination in this one. All right, that's such a nice, rich color, isn't it? Oh, you know, I'll leave this open because I'm going to need this. Now, I'm going to use Tahitian Tide on this, too. So the next, oh, actually, I want to use Parakeet Party for, I'm going to make a stem. I guess I'm jumping around a little bit. So here's my stem. I'm going to put that right here. I guess I kind of made that a little high. <laughs> Should have made that a little bit lower than that. Um, 
interestingly, I didn't immediately notice, but there's a place for two heads, two flower heads there. So it kind of helps because, well, you'll see in a second. Um, all right. So now that was, I'm done with that. Now I'm going to put some of the flower heads on there. So this is where, um, I guess it doesn't always, this is a really fake flower. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to put one with blue leaves. And I know James told me just today, there's not a lot of blue flowers out there. Natural ones anyway. Um, there's some though, like hydrangeas. All right. And I'll do this one. Okay. And then I'm going to do the words. So it's going to be balanced. Okay. Um, I'm going to use birthday wishes because this is kind of a crazy card. All right. So birthday, sending birthday wishes. Okay. So we've got some at the top and then a little bit down here. So it's, um, it's somewhat, somewhat balanced there. All right. So now we'll do the centers of the flowers in the sweet sorbet. So this is another two step stamp actually. Um, because we did the petals and now we're doing the center. And I don't know if I did that straight or not, but otherwise you're going to see the back of my head. So I just kind of guess. All right. And then... All right. So I know, and it's so short, right? This, I'm almost done. This is a bright part. Look at that. All right. So, unfortunately, I think actually the sweet sorbet would look great here if I were to do another bow in that. Probably would look best, to be honest. Watch me totally run out of this color and have all the other ones. Kind of how it works, though, sometimes. All right, so you could put a bow, actually, or that's, I was thinking about this other thing. So, um, I got these iridescent, they are so shiny and, uh, I believe they're new, a new product. And they were just here. There they are. Look how that. Whew. They actually go really well with the other card that I just did. But um, so maybe I'll just do this. Forget the bow because I put a bow on the last one. Um, and we could raise that up to be somewhat interesting here. So I'll use more more of these things. Um, the dimensionals. using the big ones. I don't usually, you know, I like to be conservative, but, um, in the interest of time, it's a lot easier to put what 12 in here than, uh, 45, something like that of the smaller ones that might be take a lot of time. All right. Yeah, so this, this isn't a very time consuming one. You could totally do a bunch at a time. Um, you could change out the colors so easily just cause I'll show you the other versions I did actually. Um, all right. I think I got all the backs. Okay. And now I'm going to put some iridescent rhinestones and I will use my take my pick tool because I should. Um, all right. So what's neat is I have three different sizes. So these big ones are rather big, but maybe I should do one of each. All right. You know what? The, this putty side is 
Maybe this is a little too big. Maybe I should use the spatula. Yep. All right. So and the medium one. Remember, I like to do them in a um, scalene triangle formation. All right. So that'll bring your eye in like this. And just be a little bit of sparkle here on the, the paper. Okay? So, close before that is completely. A little bit more. Um, ambient. Yeah, you know, it stays, stays there. No problem. Okay. So, it's not super fancy, but it's simple. Sending birthday wishes. It was easy. And then I also had these other little more complicated ones. So this is good for like a casual stamper. And these might be more avid or artfully avid kind of stampers. So, all right. Um, it's going to be a relatively early night tonight. Um, I have this other card, but I didn't feature the in colors like I had anticipated. So I think I might save that one. I've got lots of ideas for these two stamp set sets though. And by the way, um, we are looking for more people to join our stamp club before it is gone. Um, if you are interested, it's really fun. We meet once a month, usually on the second Monday of the month. Um, but if that's a big problem, we might be able to change that. Um, and basically everyone commits to spending $25 and putting in an order and all the orders put together, everyone takes a turn being hostess. So if that is anything interesting, it's actually a great way to buy things on a budget. Um, it's fun because it's, and we have the momentum and we have the, the fellowship and camaraderie and I love it. And it really keeps me going. It's like the lifeblood of my business here actually. And so I'm really sad that it might not go anymore, but we, I think are down to three people. So, um, plus Julie, who doesn't, she's at her own, she's a demonstrator herself. So, um, and, and that's the other thing. Oh, I forgot. Actually, that reminds me being a demonstrator. Um, if anybody's interested in becoming a demonstrator right now is a really great deal as far as the in colors go. So what a great segue. Didn't even, I, would have gotten off and thought off of the um, broadcast and then realized I forgot like I do normally. So the deal is if you get your starter kit before May 31st, you can also get um, a whole, like, oh, I didn't write it down, but like four different in color products, like the paper. I am 99% sure you get this. Um, I think you probably get, well, I'm not sure what the other things are. There's grid paper was one of them. Um, but there's all these products worth $66. So that's on top of the $125 that you get for 99. And then all the business supplies on top of that, if you're interested. So, um, that it's a really good deal right now to get an extra $66 uh, with in color things that you wouldn't, then you don't have to buy the in color things with your $125. So it's a good deal right now. Um, if you're interested. So, and I, I'm always trying to share good deals. That's really, um, I'm not really out here to make a million dollars. I'm just like, want to share my passion, right. And, um, be able to continue doing my passion. So that's really my motivation. Um, and I like a sale, so a deal or whatever. So I like to share that. All right. Well, I'm going to let everyone go a little early tonight and, focus on future cards and I'm very excited about using them. Oh, and let me show you here's, these are the other versions I was going to show you. So I did this with other non, this was pumpkin pie. Um, but I did this card in different, um, colors. So you can see this is, um, pretty versatile design actually. So, all right, I'm jumping all over the place. So I'm going to let you go. Have a wonderful night and I'm sure I'll forget to tell you something. Um, but do come back next next Tuesday. I'll try to be posting things. Um, if you know anyone who'd want to be on the stamp in the stamp club, let me know. My number or my number, my email is June at youcanstamp.com. 
All right. Thanks. Take, take care. Bye.